Slipknot Tokyo Sean again with another vlog, uh, back with vlog again. I just wanted to get, a uh, a little, uh, raw reaction to this, this Monday that just passed on Raw, on WWE Raw. That Raw was unbelievable, like, I couldn't even, like, oh my god, like, the shit that happened in this Raw was unbelievable. Hold on, let me go into a room with more light. There you go. Now, there's a horrible storm outside, so... <laughs> this might even take a while to upload to YouTube or whatever, but I don't even care. So... First of all, the Vincent J. McMahon uh, Legacy Award. Obviously, to start off the show. I don't understand, why would they give it to Stephanie McMahon? I mean, a lot of people saw that comment, it was either going to be her or Triple H. Everybody, everybody was saying it. Triple H, Triple H, Stephanie, 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 Triple H, Triple H, Triple H. Like, everybody was thinking it was going to be either Triple H or Stephanie. So, obviously, it's Stephanie, because, you know, why would they give it to Triple H in a way? Because, you know, he's back there still... You know, he's not ready to come out to do nothing. So, she comes out and she's all like, Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so happy. And dad, you don't know how much this means to me. And, you know, you know, she starts saying, like, you know, like, Oh, I have a few things that I prepared just in case. But I didn't expect it, but I just did it just in case. If I may. Opens up the book. Puts her microphone to the mouth uh, to her mouth, and just as she's about to say something, here comes the money. Shane McMahon comes out. Oh my God, I did not expect that at all. Like seriously, like I, like literally thought, like oh my God, no, it's not. It's not him. I was like, somebody's probably pranking them. Like, Triple H is going to come out and be like, Oh, yeah, you really thought I was going to be, uh, uh, or something like that. But I was like, why would they prank him? Because Shane McMahon had nothing to do with this, like, situation. Like, he hasn't been brought up on any situations at all, at all. So, why would they do that? So, I was like, it's got to be him. And he comes out with them great-ass Nikes. And he's all, woo! doing his dancing moves and everything but dude he's got he's got he's got all the gray hair and everything i was like dude you could have dyed your hair i was like but it don't matter though he was looking beast he was looking unbelievable he came out ooh, ooh, pumping his chest doing that and he came down to the ring and you know before he couldn't even speak the crowd was unbelievable. They were like, you know, Shane O'Mac, Shane O'Mac, and then at one point they were like, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, and then, um, you know, and then he ta starts talking to them about, oh, like, you know, I can't believe how you and Triple H ran this company to the ground, like, you literally, he's like, oh, excuse me, he's like, literally, you ran... Sorry about that, uh, but anyway, you know, he starts talking to them about, you know, how, like, you know, number one, the injuries, you know, number two, the ratings, number two, the money, and all this other stuff, and he was like, seriously, you are running this company into the ground, and I agree totally 100%, like, literally, all these superstars are getting When's the last time we seen Cena? I mean, I know, I know a lot of people are like, oh, we don't give a shit about Cena. Cena's time's done. You know, F him. Fuck him or whatever, you know. Forget him, you know. Who cares about Cena? But still, though, it's still nice to be... I still would love to see, still see him fight and do some stuff. You know, maybe do a something at WrestleMania. Maybe not a match, but still do appear at WrestleMania for something, but he's been out for I don't know how long, I haven't seen him in forever, you know what I mean, and I think there was a, I forget who the other injuries that recently just happened were, but Seth Rollins, oh, duh, the, one of the biggest injuries in WWE right now, where the hell is Seth Rollins, Seth Rollins has been out for I don't know how long, he's still out. 
And I, I don't really think he's making his return anytime soon for a WrestleMania match or anything like that. So, you know, the only thing I can think of about him returning is at WrestleMania for the Roman Reigns and uh, Triple H match for the WWE title. He's going to come out and something's going to happen. Or he's going to get involved with Shane and uh, Undertaker or Brock and Dean Ambrose. One of them three big, one of the three main events he's going to get involved in. Most likely it's going to be the Triple H one. But anyway, you know, he starts talking and then he says out of nowhere, you know, that, you know, oh, are you? Oh, do you, she doesn't know? And he's like, you want me to tell her? Or you, are you going to tell her? You want me to tell her? Okay. <laughs> and he starts explaining to her about a whole bunch, like a, a couple years ago, that her father screwed up big time about something. I don't know what he means by that, but he screwed up big time. And then he was like, you know, and then me and your father made a little deal, and blah, 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 and starts talking and all that stuff, and then out of nowhere, you know, he was like, you know, it was best for business, and I was like, oh, shit, and then he was, she was like, dad, is this true, is this true, and he was like, you know, uh, can, can we talk about this outside? You know, trying to be all cool about it and trying to be like, you know, not trying to say anything in the microphone like it's like real serious. Well, can we talk about this outside? <laughs> you know, and then she's like, no, you're standing right here. He's like, you know, tell her. Um, and she's like, tell her. And he's like, is it true? And he's like putting the microphone up to his dad and everything, to up the vents, and then he's like, um, a, a variation of it is true, but we can all talk about this in the back right now. Let's go. Not out here. Let's go. And then, or whatever. And then he was, and she was like, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Why would you do this? Da, 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 da. But we still don't know entirely know what the deal was, though. I really don't. I really haven't really got that around my head what the deal was. But anyway, um. So then Stephanie leaves and goes, oh, 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 and it goes all the way back to the freaking locker room or whatever. Uh, oh, excuse me again. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. I'm not even tired. But anyway, that's wrong. And so she goes um, back to the locker room, and then he goes, I want something, and he's like, what is it, what do you want, Shane, you want my, I got my checkbook with me, I'll write it out to you, name your price, and Shane's like, it was never about money, I don't want none of your stupid money, I want control of Monday Night Raw, I flipped, I was like, yes, 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 I was like, please, give Control to Monday Night Raw to him, please. We need Shane O'Mac back in the WWE. It's been like over 12, it's been like 12 years, 7 years since we've seen Shane. I think the last time we seen him was, what, when they did that whole thing with the Legacy? Where, where, where Vince McMahon came out first and unbuckled his thing, and then after that, Shane came out, and then after that, Triple H came out, and they attacked Orton, T DiBiase, and Rhodes. I think that was, like, the last time, around that time, was, like, the last time we saw Shane. And before that happened, we saw him have his feud with Kane and all that stuff, and then, you know, and then that was basically the last two times we saw him, and then he left, and then we never seen him again for, like, three, for, like, seven years. So that was in 2009 last time I saw him, so it's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that was seven years, this is seven years later he returns. He's been gone for seven years. Like, oh my god, like, I'm so happy he came back. But anyway, so then Vince is like, alright, I'll give you what you want. And he's just like, and I even knew, once Vince said that, I was like, no, 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 there's a catch. There's always a catch. And then he's like, he's like, what's the catch? Come on, what's the catch? And then he was like, well, he was like, you know, it was like, you gotta have one match, one time. And he's like, well, he's like, one match, one time. And he was like, yeah, I pick who, where, and when. And I was just like, oh, well, we obviously know what it's gonna be. You know, 
when that was not even a qu no no question. A lot of couple people were like, "Oh, is it gonna happen tonight?" Oh, no! Why would they have Shane McMahon perform on Raw that night against somebody? It just didn't make any sense. He didn't look no in no position prepared for a match. I was like, "He's gonna be in at WrestleMania," and then obviously, as ever, as I predicted, Vince pointed up at the sign and said, "Wrestle." Mania, and then after that, he goes, and your opponent is just as big as your ego, almost as big as your ego, and he goes, oh, your opponent will be The Undertaker, and I flipped, I was like, no way, I was like, but obviously, as you, as you guys are going to obviously see, she's not going to win this match. There's no way they're going to let Undertaker lose a second time at the freaking WrestleMania. And a lot of people were saying that, you know, this is going to be Undertaker's last match. This is going to be his career send-off. This is going to be his last match ever in the WWE. WrestleMania, this is going to be his final match at WrestleMania 32. It's going to be his last match ever. And it's going to be with Shane. And I was like, well, if they're going to do that, then then obviously might as well have Shane win the match then. Because if it's going to be Undertaker's last match, there's no point in him winning. But, you know, I mean, there is a point in it, and there isn't. But I'm not going to go into that. But anyway, so then, you know, and then he's like, and then she's like, all right. I never be in a deal with the devil, but you got a deal. Boom, they shook hands, and then, you know, and then Shane was about to walk out, and he was like, oh, he's like, listen, he's like, uh, before you go anywhere, he's like, uh, before you, and before you try to run around and grab your ball and run away like you, like you always do, this match will be hell in a cell, and I was like, oh my god. That's a big Undertaker win right there. That's even a bigger Undertaker win. You you thought Undertaker was gonna win, um, was gonna win regularly if it was just a singles match. He is definitely gonna win if it's a Hell in a Cell match. There's no way Shane's winning. Obviously, everybody wants him to win, but he's not gonna win. There's no way. It'll be a miracle if he does, and I'll be so happy because me and my friend are going to be watching. Uh, WrestleMania 32 on the network. He's going to just subscribe to it soon. I don't know when. Uh, I think April, he said. He's going to subscribe on April 1st. And, uh, he's going to subscribe. And then that means he gets the whole month, you know, obviously you guys know. Nine ninety nine. He's going to get the whole month free. When, cause they say once you first subscribe, you get the whole month of April free of WWE Network pay-per-views and Raws and stuff like that. So, obviously, that means we're going to get WrestleMania free. So, he said he's going to watch it with me. But he said, you've got to come over to my house. He's like, because I'm not watching it over your house. He's like, if you want to watch WrestleMania, I'm the one subscribing. you got to come over to my house. So, I'm going to go over to my friend CJ's house, and we're going to watch it together. So... I'm going to be probably be doing a, real, a, real, a live reaction video, hopefully, but it kind of sucks, though, because I really don't want to watch it on his phone, because that's what we're probably most likely going to have to do, because I can easily just watch it here on my PlayStation, because you can get WWE Network on your PlayStation or on your Xbox, and it would be better because it'd be a big screen, it'd be like you're watching it on TV, like you ordered the pay-per-view. Or whatever, and I'm about to just tell him, dude, I get money on April 1st, so why don't we just order the pay-per-view? You don't need to bother bother subscribing to the freaking WWE Network just for WrestleMania. I got I'll have the money, most likely going to be like 60 bucks, most, tops. Maybe a little bit more, I don't know, 65 maybe. And I'll, ha I'll have the money, I ha I'll have over, around, I'm not going to say money because I don't want to... So I might have said it before, but I'm not going to say it again. But I'll have a decent amount of money, and there's, I'll have well, well more than enough to pay for that pay-per-view. So I'll just order it, and then I'll give my mom and my dad the money, and then they'll just put it towards the cable bill. Not that big of a deal, and he can come over, and I'm not sure what day that is, actually. Hold on. I know it's dark, so hold on. Uh, April 3rd is a Sunday, damn. I was gonna say, he could probably sleep over if, uh, oh shit, he could probably sleep over if, uh, 
if it was like a Friday or something, but of course it's gotta be a freaking Sunday, or, or it's got I, I was like watch it be like a Sunday or a weekday or something. So yeah, he, he but it's gonna suck because then it's gonna come on late and then we're not gonna be what I'm not gonna be able to go over there now. I just realized that my dad's gonna be like, no, you can't go over there that late. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? And I'm like, okay, well then I mean, I guess that means that we're gonna have to have CJ come over. Then I'm gonna have to tell him that either today or tomorrow. I'm gonna be like, look, dude, you're gonna. I'm just gonna have to order the pay per view on my TV, and you're just gonna have to come over because my my dad said that since it's a Sunday, he's like, you're not going over there that late because then you're gonna want to be making some excuses that you're gonna want to sleep over there and blah 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 blah. He's like, it's not happening. You missed enough school. You're not taking no more days off. So yeah.